Hi friends. Now we discuss today the differentiability. From the previous class, we defined the derivative of real function as follows. Suppose differentiability. Suppose. f is real function and c is a point in its domain the derivative of f at c is defined by limit h tends to 0 f of c plus h minus f c divided by h provided this limit exists So once again, definition of <coughs> differentiation derivative. Suppose f is a real function and c is a point in its domain. The derivative of f at point c is defined by limit h tends to 0. f of c plus h minus fc divided by h provided this limit exists. Derivative of f at c is denoted by f dash c or d by dx fx at the point x equals to c. In general case, we can say that f dash x equals to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus fx divided by h. <coughs> now let y equals to fx be a function then the derivative of y with respect to x is denoted by dy by dx or y1 or y dash or f dash x or d by dx of fx. So once again derivative of y equals to fx with respect to x is denoted by dy by dx, y1, y dash, f dash x and d by dx of fx. For the previous class, we know that fx and gx both are differentiable function. Then d by dx of fx plus or minus gx equals to d by dx of fx plus or minus d by dx of gx. Second, d by dx of k into fx equals to k into d by dx fx. Third one, d by dx fx into gx equals to multiplicative rule apply so fx constant derivative of gx plus gx constant derivative of fx and if gx is not equals to 0 then fx by gx equals to gx constant derivative of fx minus fx constant derivative of gx divided by gx whole square. This rule is known as quotient rule. In this formula, we can take fx equals to u and gx equals to v. Then we can write d by dx of 
u plus or minus v equals to du by dx plus or minus dv by dx. Second, d by dx of k into u equals to k constant d by dx of u where k is a constant. Third one, d by dx of u into v equals to u constant derivative of v plus v constant derivative of u and quotient rule d by dx u divided by v equals to v constant derivative of u minus u constant derivative of v divided by v square. It means denominator is constant derivative of numerator minus numerator constant derivative of denominator divided by denominator whole square. If limit h tends to 0, f of c plus h minus fc upon h does not exist, then we can say that f is not differentiable at point c. In other case, we say that if d by limit h tends to 0, f of c plus h minus fc divided by h here we take right hand side limit and limit h tends to 0 minus left hand side limit f of c plus h minus fc divided by h. If both limit are finite and equal then we can say that then we can say that f is differentiable function. If both limit exist and equal then f is differentiable function. If both are exist but not equal then we can say that f is not differentiable function. Now derivative of composite function. This is also known as chain rule. Let f be a real function. Let f be a real valued function which is a composition which is a composite of two function u and v that is f equals to v o u therefore f x equals to v o u of x it means v of u x now take t equals to u x therefore v t therefore f dash x equals to dv by dt and dt by dx. So, v is a function of t and t is a function of u. Then f dash x equals to dv by dt into dt by dx. In general case, we say that y is a function of u. y is a function of u. u is a function of v v is a function of w and w is a function of x then dy by dx equals to dy by du into du by dv into dv by dw into dw by dx. So these are related to each other that's why it is known as chain rule. Now exercise 5.2 we take sum number 9 prove that function f is given by fx equals to mod x minus 1 where x belongs to r is not differentiable is not differentiable at x equals to 1. So we prove that 
here given function fx is not differentiable at x equals to 1. So, we have to find limit extends to 1 plus and limit extends to 1 minus. And if both exist and equal, then we can say that f is differentiable. But here we prove that f is not differentiable at x equals to 1. So, first definition of modulus function mod x minus 1 equals to x minus 1 whenever x is greater or equals to 1 and 1 minus x whenever x is less than 1. So, first we have to find out limit x tends to 1 plus f 1 plus h minus f1 divided by h where h tends to so find limit h tends to 0 plus f1 plus h minus f1 divided by h so limit h tends to 0 plus f1 plus h means modulus 1 plus h minus 1 minus f1 equals to 0 divided by h equals to limit h tends to 0 plus mod h divided by h but here h is positive so limit h tends to 0 plus h divided by h equals to 1 and limit h tends to 0 minus f1 plus h minus f1 upon h equals to limit h tends to 0 minus mod 1 plus h minus 1 f1 equals to 0 divided by h equals to limit h tends to 0 minus mod h divided by h equals to limit h tends to 0 here h is negative so modulus of h equals to minus h divided by h equals to minus 1 therefore we can say that if limit h tends to 0 plus f1 plus h minus f1 upon h and limit h tends to 0 minus f1 plus h minus f1 upon h exist but both are unequal therefore f is not differentiable at x equals to 1 now take one more example Example number 10 Prove that the greatest integer function defined by fx equals to box x 0 less than x less than 3 is not differentiable at x equals to 1 and x equals to 2. So we have to prove that Greatest integer function is not differentiable at x equals to 1 and x equals to 2. So first we prove that f is not differentiable at x equals to 1. So by definition of differentiation, limit h tends to 0 plus f1 plus h minus f1 divided by h equals to limit h tends to 0 plus box 1 plus h minus box 1 divided by h. Now we know that value of h is greater than 0. So 0 less than h less than 1 adding 1 on each term. So 1 less than 1 plus h less than 2. Therefore box 1 plus h equals to 1. Therefore, limit h tends to 0 plus box 1 plus h equals to 1 and box 1 is also 1. 
divided by h therefore limit h tends to 0 plus 0 divided by h equals to 0 now left hand limit limit h tends to 0 minus f1 plus h minus f1 divided by h equals to limit h tends to 0 minus box 1 plus h minus box 1 divided by h here value of h is less than 0 it means the value of h is greater than minus 1 but less than 0 adding 1 on each term so 0 less than 1 plus h less than 1 so box 1 plus h equals to 0 from this limit h tends to 0 minus 0 box 1 equals to 1 divided by h it means limit h tends to 0 minus minus 1 upon h but h tends to 0 so 1 upon h tends to infinite it means tends to minus infinite here both left hand derivative and right hand derivative both are unequal so we can say that so we can say uh, we can say that f is not differentiable at x equals to 1 similarly we prove that f is not differentiable at x equals to 2 so you can do yourself now using the chain rule we can solve some example so example number 1 sin x square plus 5 we have to find the derivative of this function so we take y equals to sin x square plus 5 now we have to find out dy by dx we can solve this sum by two method first one using the chain rule therefore y equals to sin u where u is a function of x it means x square plus 5 now y is a function of u therefore dy by du equals to derivative of sine equals to cos so cos u replace the value of u so cos x square plus 5 and u is a function of x therefore du by dx equals to derivative of x square plus 5 is it means derivative of x square equals to 2x and derivative of constant term equals to 0 so we get answer 2x therefore finally dy by dx equals to dy by du into du by dx means cos x square plus 5 into 2x so we get final answer 2x into cos in the bracket x square plus 5. Now we can solve this directly. So second method y is equals to sin x square plus 5. So first outside function is sin. So first we have to derivative of sin. It means dy by dx equals to derivative of sin is cos in the bracket x square plus 5 into derivative of inside function x square plus 5 therefore cos x square plus 5 into derivative of x square 2x and derivative of 5 0 so we get answer 2x into cos x square plus 5 so we can <coughs> say that in both the cases we have same the answer so we can solve all the sum by second method let's take one more example y equals to sec in the bracket 10 root x so derivative of y with respect to x dy by dx first we derivative sec function derivative of sec x equals to sec x into 10 x so sec in the bracket 10 root x into 
टेन इन द ब्रैकेट टेन रूट एक्स इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ इन साइड फंक्शन मीन्स टेन रूट एक्स सो दिस बॉटम आर सेम नाउ डेरिवेटिव ऑफ टेन इक्वल्स टू सेक्स स्क्वेर इन साइड टर्म एज इट इज इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ इन साइड फंक्शन मीन्स रूट एक्स देर फॉर सेक टेन रूट एक्स इन टू टेन इन द ब्रैकेट टेन रूट एक्स इन टू सेक्स स्क्वेर रूट एक्स एंड डेरिवेटिव ऑफ रूट एक्स इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन टू रूट एक्स सो वी हैव फाइनल आंसर वन अपॉन टू रूट एक्स सेक्स स्क्वेर रूट एक्स इन टू सेक टेन रूट एक्स इन टू टेन ऑफ टेन रूट एक्स नाउ लेट्स टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल y इक्वल्स टू साइन ए एक्स प्लस बी डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस सी एक्स प्लस डी सो वी फाइंड द डेरिवेटिव यूजिंग क्वेश्चन रूल इट मीन्स डिवाइ बाय डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू डिनोमिनेटर कॉन्स्टंट सो कॉस सी एक्स प्लस डी इज कॉन्स्टंट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ न्यूमरेटर मीन्स साइन ए एक्स प्लस बी माइनस न्यूमरेटर कॉन्स्टंट साइन ए एक्स प्लस बी इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर कॉस सी एक्स प्लस डी डिवाइड बाय डिनोमिनेटर होल स्क्वेर मीन्स कॉस स्क्वेर सी एक्स प्लस डी सो कॉस सी एक्स प्लस डी इज कॉन्स्टंट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन इक्वल्स टू कॉस ए एक्स प्लस बी इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ इन साइड ए एक्स प्लस बी माइनस साइन ए एक्स प्लस बी कॉन्स्टंट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉस इक्वल्स टू माइनस साइन सी एक्स प्लस डी इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ सी एक्स प्लस डी डिवाइड बाय डिनोमिनेटर होल स्क्वेर मीन्स कॉ स्क्वेर सी एक्स प्लस डी नाउ कॉस सी एक्स प्लस डी इज कॉन्स्टंट अगेन कॉस ए एक्स प्लस बी कॉन्स्टंट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ ए एक्स प्लस बी b is only constant so derivative of b equals to 0 and derivative of ax so a is constant so a outside derivative of x equals to 1 so we get answer only a minus or a minus outside so minus minus plus sin ax plus b into sin cx plus d into derivative of cx equals to c and derivative of d equals to 0 divided by cos square cx plus d so this is the final answer let one more example number 6 y equals to cos x cube into sin square x raised to 5 Here, cos x cube is one function and sine square x raised to five is another function. So two function are in multiplication. So we can apply here multiplicative rule. Dy by dx equals to cos x cube constant derivative of sine square x raised to five plus sin square x raised to 5 constant derivative of cos x cube now cos x cube is constant derivative of sin square so first we derivate the power so 2 into sin x raised to 5 
मीन्स पहले पावर का डेरिवेटिव करना है एक्स रेस टू एन के फॉर्मूला से बाद में पा, पावर निगलेक्ट करके ओरिजिनल फंक्शन साइन का डेरिवेटिव करना है सो डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ साइन एक्स रेस टू फाइव प्लस साइन स्क्वेर एक्स रेस टू फाइव डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉस इज माइनस साइन एक्स क्यूब इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ इन साइड फंक्शन एक्स क्यूब इक्वल्स टू कॉस एक्स क्यूब इन टू टू साइन एक्स रेस टू फाइव डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन कॉस एक्स रेस टू फाइव इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स रेस टू फाइव माइनस आउट साइड सो माइनस साइन स्क्वेर एक्स रेस टू फाइव इन टू साइन एक्स क्यूब इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स क्यूब इक्वल्स टू थ्री एक्स रेस टू टू बाई यूजिंग द एक्स रेस टू एन फॉर्मूला सो कॉस एक्स क्यूब टू आउट साइड साइन एक्स रेस टू फाइव कॉस एक्स रेस टू फाइव इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स रेस टू फाइव मीन्स फाइव एक्स रेस टू फोर माइनस साइन स्क्वेर एक्स रेस टू फाइव साइन एक्स रेस टू थ्री इन टू थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर सो दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर लेट वन मोर एग्जाम्पल वाई इक्वल्स टू टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ कॉट एक्स स्क्वेर सो डेरिवेटिव ऑफ फाइव विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स डिवाइ बाय डी एक्स टू कॉन्स्टंट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ रूट कॉट एक्स स्क्वेर सो हियर फर्स्ट विथ डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस रूट फंक्शन सो डेरिवेटिव ऑफ रूट इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन टू रूट कॉट एक्स स्क्वेर इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉट एक्स स्क्वेर so 1 divided by root cot x square derivative of cot is minus cos x square inside as it is into derivative of inside function means x square so minus cos x square x square divided by root cot x square into derivative of x square equals to 2x so we get final answer minus 2x cos x square x square divided by root cot x square so you can solve exercise 5.2 your own self homework exercise 5.2